I'm excited about today's Yay! topic. What is licensing? We're going to be talking about what is licensing and uh, really breaking down the definitions. And for many of you, you are you were either on the consumer side of licensing or franchising, yeah. or you might be on the business side of it. But we see it every single day when we walk by from the clothes that we buy that have brand names on there, from going into McDonald's or Burger King or Wendy's and Every single day, we're either dealing with some level of a licensing company or a franchise, and uh, it's become the common. It's, it's, it's the common thing. But many of us don't know the history of how this even started. Or why. Some of the great, most, most extraordinary individuals who have paved the way for us to be here in 2020 and to see the world today and, uh, and us living in a tri- like, you know, billion to trillion dollar economy. And uh, we want to break down the history behind it and then move forward into really giving actual steps based off of what we've done with our businesses um, on how you're able to do the same exact thing. Yeah, and I'm excited because we're going to be able to tell you throughout this process of just breaking down things of like what's worked for us, why we don't think it's worked for us, and most importantly, where we are in our life that maybe it's not best for us. Because I think um, sometimes we look at content and we're like, oh, well, that doesn't work for me. You're absolutely right. With all of us having different resources, all of us having different um, access to money, capital or mentorship, something may or may not be for you. So I don't want you to take this podcast as a one, one size shoe fits all because it does not, especially just us being black. Do you get what I'm saying? Us understanding and looking when we're when we're diving deep into franchising and licensing we've looked at this stuff before uh as a young black woman and as a young black man ain't nobody have thirty forty thousand dollars at at at, in the in their pockets to do this and so we're just we really want to show you how um just just dive deep into the information then you can go ahead and make an educated synopsis of how is it that you would like to move forward but i think first let's just break down the definition um because i think something that was important we will do an entire podcast on franchising by itself but we do at first want to let you know what's the difference between the two because they look really similar um so if we could just give the definitions of franchising and licensing before we go into it yes yeah, so uh they're very they're very very similar um, and just to kind of give a simple definition for this. Wait, but let me read to, the real actual definition, up, though. You can. I'll do sure. it, and then then we can bring it to context for them. Mm-hmm. Just so they say we ain't say the right thing. <laughs> okay? So let's start with franchising, right? Um, the definition is a continuing relationship in which a franchisor provides a licensed privilege to the franchise to do business and offers assistance in organizing, training, merchandising, marketing, and managing in return for a monetary consideration. Franchising is a form of business by which the owner franchisor of a product, service, or method obtains distribution through affiliated dealers, which is a franchisee. Okay? Now, a... Let's go ahead and go into the definition of licensing, and then we'll break down those two. Licensing is defined as a business arrangement wherein a company authorizes another company by issuing a license to temporarily, listen to that, temporarily access its intellectual property rights. An example, manufacturing, process, brand name, copyright, trademark, patent, technology, trade secrets, etc. for adequate consideration and under specified conditions. Yes. So the differences between the two, if we want to put it into layman terms is franchising and licensing are very, very similar in nature. Uh, The biggest difference that I've learned from the studying is that a franchise is a system. Yeah. Okay. When you're, when you're buying into a franchise, not only are you getting not only are you actually signing a licensing agreement it's a franchise agreement but a licensing portion is built into the franchise agreement but you're actually getting the system you're getting the training you're getting the assistance so when somebody were to to buy a mcdonald's franchise you are indeed buying the licensing rights to to operate as a mcdonald's but mcdonald's is also giving you the mcdonald's system how they do things the workflow you know uh and and to they're basically giving you the actual business blueprint 
I think Van said business in a box. Correct. It's literally you can take this box and they give you so much clear the owner's, instructions. The owner's manual, basically. Yeah. Let's call it that. They're giving you an owner's manual. Here's how you build it. Here's what you need to do. You follow these directions, you're going to be successful. And if you realize that in a franchise, any single time that you go to, um, any single time that you go to a McDonald's, no matter where you are in the country, well, I have been, I was in Mexico one time and they indeed sold different things, but those, those products, it tasted the same. Mm-hmm. The fries looked the same. Mm-hmm. The packaging was the same. Mm-hmm. The entire business model was an exact replicate and duplicate, and they did not veer off at all when it came to franchising. And that is, I want you guys to keep that, write that down. Nothing changes. So just put next to franchise, put system. That's yeah. what I want you to put next to franchise. So now you're wondering, okay, Dom, but what is licensing? Because the definition sounded similar. Licensing is giving you the rights without the system. That's what licensing is. I'm giving you the rights to intellectual properties, Mm -hmm. to trademarks or to certain names, right? That's why you got manufacturing, which we'll talk about in a second, where Disney is giving somebody the rights to put Star Wars on their T-shirts, right? I'm giving you the right to do that, but I'm not giving you the system on how to sell it. Or telling you what to do with it. I'm not telling you what to do. Of course, I have certain... uh, Guidelines. Guidelines on how you can utilize this license to make sure that my brand is protected. But I'm not telling you how to run the business. I'm not showing you how to scale. I'm not showing you how to make money. That's your problem. I want my money to give you that license. Uh, like, like they said, reasonable compensation. I want my money. And then whatever you do with it from there on how you decide to generate revenue from that is on you. I'm not responsible. Franchises have the responsibility to be able to offer their franchisees the system so that they can generate revenue because their success is based off of the success of their franchisees. Licensing is not the case. Absolutely. I get my money. You do what you do. If you fail, it doesn't matter to me. I want my licensing rights back after that certain period is over, and I still got my money. And I think another really good example, just trying to give you guys a visual, when you go onto the Uber app and you go to look for someone to drive you to wherever you're going, When that Uber pulls up, it looks different every single time. The person's amount of conversation that they want to give you is different. Um, How many of you guys, raise your hand. I know that we can't see you, but raise your hand if you've gotten an Uber and there was like little mints and water or even signs up that says, hey, like, thank you for your ride. And then you've gotten an Ubers who didn't have anything. You know what I mean? Or just a different type of car model, the different types of um, services or candor or niceness or just their process and procedure is different based on how the actual driver wants to operate. Despite them using the Uber and putting that Uber bright light inside of their car and saying, hey, I'm an Uber driver. I am affiliated with Uber. I'm licensed to use the Uber brand by being a subcontractor. So here, Mm -hmm. but I'm doing things my way though. You know what I mean? And I think just to give a visual of like when you go into McDonald's, you get the same thing every single time. It is flawless. It is exactly the way anywhere. But when you get into an Uber, necessarily the car driver, the subcontractor actually has the freedom to kind of do things the way that they want to do it. Of course, once again, within the guidelines, because I ain't going to let you be doing anything with my brand name. But I just wanted to give you guys a a physical example that you guys see all the time or every day. And I just think about that all the time because some of my Ubers, like they have the little waters, the mints. Yeah. Oh, you know what I love? The ones that have like the charger and they have like yeah, every yeah, single yeah. They charger. You, they, they, they let you plug it up and play <laughs> your own music and everything, give you the aux cord. So. But in no shape or form is Uber mandating that you have that. They're yeah. not putting a system in place that says, no, 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 you have to have a Honda Accord and it has to be black and it has to do this. And when they get in the car, you have to do this. Yeah, they don't have that system established. They have guidelines on what you should work off of that they recommend you do, but they don't have that guideline. And the reason why somebody would license is because it gives them access to a customer base. Uh, Because obviously, if I decided to do my own ride sharing, nobody's just getting in some rando's car. I'm not getting in somebody's car, but the fact that they have Uber on their vehicle Oh, now, I trust it. I trust the There's brand. There's a system they're working exactly. through. Exactly. So that license provides trust. Yeah. And that trust leads to money. And that's why somebody would license or why somebody would franchise. Now, it's interesting because I always like to look at the, uh, like the, the, the different 
terminologies for words. So I actually looked up uh, the, the, the Anglo-French word for franchise. Well, licensing is not really a back-end word to it, but they kind of are similar in nature. The Anglo-French word means liberty. Hmm. And the English word is to empower those who have no rights. Wow. Which I found to be interesting because licensing slash franchising or any of those systems were built off of providing people with liberty. Yeah. And as we know, liberty is freedom, empowering those who have no rights, giving, an opportunity. Them, giving, them, giving people opportunity. Wow. And this is how licensing and franchising has become one of the biggest industries in the world that generates billions of billions of dollars by empowering the everyday person and giving them a business or giving them rights to an IP that you built. And then saying, hey, take it, do something with it and make it happen. Create generational wealth for your family. Yeah, and I think, guys, you have to be in perspective. Once again, based off of your resources, is it more beneficial? And wait, wait, I'm sorry. Let me back up. Not just based off your resources, but your ability and your talents. Based on you have when you go into business, you have to be self-aware enough to analyze, hey, I cannot think of a process and procedure to save my life. But I know that every single job that I worked at, I was able to innovate. I was able to problem solve and I was able to be the hardest worker. I was able to get things done. I was always the top of my class. I was always the one who showed off. I was always the boss's favorite person. Yeah. They even were able to put me in management positions. But to think of something from scratch... Think of pricing, think of process and procedure, think of then have to take on consideration of the legality part of it. That may not be for you. And so I don't want you to think that every single person for you to be an extraordinary entrepreneur, you got to do what's, what's so popular right now of like, oh, I started from the bottom. No, no, no. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. I'm proud every single time I do not have to start at the bottom. Okay, Listen guys, like every single time where someone can give me something that allows me, that's already a process in place. I know that I can innovate. I know I can change it. And I know sometimes I can even do it better. But I want to encourage everyone. Do not shy away from licensing or franchising. If you know that you have things stacked up against you, but you know you want to be an independent entrepreneur and business owner, but at least you have assistance a and system. support. Yeah, and then you're 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 giving someone else that responsibility of ensuring that other things are taken care of. And I'll be honest with you, any day of the week, I would buy into a McDonald's franchise if I believed in the products that they were selling. I think McDonald's is an extraordinary franchise, the biggest in the world, actually. They, he quote truly, unquote, because of the media, he quote unquote founded franchising. That's not true. Yeah, he did. But he just mapped, like, they, we were just able to see in such an extraordinary way. Yeah. We had watched um, the McDonald's movie on Netflix. Yeah, with Ray Kroc. It was yep. so good. Yeah. But no, he did not originate it. And, and I'm glad that we're segueing in. And lastly, beforehand, because I know some people that may be listening to this saying that we miss things. The, the last big difference between franchising and licensing is that franchising is governed by the Federal Trade Commission. Yes. OK, that's governed by the federal by the federal government the and the feds. states. OK, there's certain registrations that are required to become a franchise legality laws, rules. laws that you have to follow. And you have to provide people with franchise disclosure documents, FDDs, franchise agreements with uh, with 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 grace periods. So we'll get into that at a later time when we talk about the actual franchise in itself and digging deep into that. But with licensing, you have more freedom where licensing is not governed by the, the federal government. You know, there's not certain regulations within the states. You have the freedom as if any business owner did when they opened up a company.